Can you start using Divify for your clients' websites or for even your own website? Well, before I answer that question, I want to show you something very interesting. So over here, I'm on sitecrafter.com. This is my main website, but guess what? It's running Divi 5. Now, let me show you quickly that it is definitely running Divi 5. So if I come over here now to my dashboard and we take a look here at the appearance and themes. Now, of course, I am running Sitecrafter Pro, which is my framework, Divi 5 framework, which just makes the designing of websites super, super easy. But anyway, what we're talking about here is this theme right here. So if I click on that, you can see this is uh, version 5, Divi version 5, alpha 17.2. Okay, so as you can see, this has been running my website. This is how I sell my child theme. And it's been going on very well. Now, let me show you another website. This is Divi University. I'm sure quite a lot of you are on this uh, website as a community member. By the way, you can join absolutely free. So if you're a Divi user or you want to learn how to use Divi, head over to diviuniversity.com and sign up for free. Okay, so this again is working on Divi 5. And I mean, pretty much everything is working fine. This is my dashboard here. And um, we've got our courses. The only thing I need to do here is to fix this heading. I'm using Tutor LMS for this. So for some reason, it's giving me extra padding here. I mean, it's something that I'll fix um, later on. It's not very urgent, but you can see here, everything is working fine. This is the course. And you know, when I click here, I mean, everything seems to be working super cool. So as you can see, you can actually have a functioning website using DV5. But here's the thing. I would highly recommend you don't rush in and start using DV5 right away if, if you're upgrading your website from DV4 to DV5. Well, that's a no-no. You could try and back it up. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's a no-no is because sometimes the combinations of all your plugins and also how the code used to work in DV4 may not necessarily you know, work at the moment with Divi 5. So you may find a lot of problems and it can be very frustrating, especially if you haven't backed up. So in those situations, I would say, do not migrate your website from Divi 4 to Divi 5 if it's in production. Don't do that yet. Secondly, if you're using, let's say WooCommerce, well, I think you need to hold back for now. If you're using WooCommerce, uh, on your DV4 website, or you want to use uh, WooCommerce on DV5. Mm, that, I found a few problems with that, so I would definitely stay away from that. So when we take a look at DV5 and what we can achieve right now, it is definitely very, very you know, easy to design your websites. Of course, you have to test a lot of plugins to make sure everything is working fine. But in my experience, everything has worked pretty much okay. So here's the thing. The reason why I would highly recommend you use DV5 uh, is if you're building a website uh, from scratch and it's a pretty much a basic website, doesn't have too many features or too many plugins, then I would say start your website using DV5. Why? Definitely this interface here is fast. It's very easy to use. And once you start using this, you won't go back. I mean, and trust me on that one, you won't go back because it's super simple. I mean, look at this. If I click on that, I can go in straight away and start you know, designing the actual element in here. This just makes the design process super fast. Now look, I can just go in here. And once I add um, pretty much what I'm working on, if I click on this image here, straight away, now I can start working on my image. I can go into my border here and start adding my border radius, just like that. Okay. If I want to add a new element, I mean, as soon as I click, and this is what I like about this, as soon as I click something, it automatically takes me there to start designing it or start adding all, all my uh, values to it. So for example, here I have a blurb. Once I click on it, now I have access to start working on my blurb right away. If I click on this image, it takes me to the image. Whereas in DV4, it was different. I mean, every single module would give us a pop-up. That in terms of uh, design workflow, that didn't work out really well. This is why I'm saying the moment you start using DV5, you probably won't go to DV4. Here's another thing. In DV5, we did not have quite a lot of essential features. So for example here, if we take a look at this variables uh, manager here, this is super 
awesome. So I'm talking about this because if you use the DV5 framework, of course, it's different uh, in the way you design things. But over here, you can go in, assign all your colors here as your variables. And it's very, very easy to add all your colors. I mean, look at this text body color. I mean, if you want, um, you can just name your color here. You can just call it custom color like that. And then you can just come over here and select it. So let's say this is going to be my uh, custom color. I mean, that's it. You know, I would add it as a variable here like that. Close out of that, save it. And just by doing that, you know, I now have my color in my variables. And you can do that with so many other things. I mean, we can do it for links, we can do it for images, we can do it for text, we can also do it for numbers. So you can just go in and start adding all your values here. You know, it is very, very easy to use now. So if you want to access your, your variables, this is where now you would, let's say for example here, you want to add a background, I'm gonna select this. So all your colors now would come over here. You see that? This was the last color and I named it custom color. And I like the fact that it also tells me what color it is when I hover over here. So this is definitely an improvement. And as I mean, because I, as I hover over here, it is actually telling me what color it is. So I can also manage my colors and look, it takes me straight away to my global variables for my color. So this process here was way different to how it used to be before. And this is definitely a much, much better workflow. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is of course, if you're someone that uses dark mode, there you go, now you have dark mode. So you can work in dark mode, which is fantastic. And when it comes now to your text and also uh, any uh, widths that you may want to add, in your in your design uh, workflow i mean check this out you can go in here and we have a lot to choose from now just take a look at this we can use rem we can use uh, clamp this never used to be there before so with clamp now i can literally go in and start designing a website with uh, fluid responsive text this is something that we didn't have and this is something that i pointed out and i said look we are, at a, we are at an age right now in web design where clamp is a default because if you want to design a website that is accessible, you definitely need clamp. There's no way out of that. So here, I mean, our font, our text font, you can still do this over here, but of course you can name these colors here. I mean, these fonts over here in your variable manager, which is fantastic. Now over here, our text size, this is where I was saying, if you click on this drop down, notice what we have now. We have percentage, M's, RAMs, VW, VH, VMIM, VMAX, CLOUK. I mean, it is just, we also have CSS variables here. So if you define your variables, you can just enter your variable over here. And now you have a fantastic website, which has pretty much all your sizes that you need. This is huge for a design workflow. Now let's talk about, these layouts. So if I come over here to add a layout, I mean, if we go to pre-made layouts, you can see now that all these pre-made layouts are working with DV5 and this is huge. And now I'm just gonna add this page here so we can see what it looks like. So there we go. I'm not importing any presets. I'm gonna go ahead and import. So this now is fantastic because if you wanna build a website super fast, you can just go and use these pre-made templates and you're up and running really, really fast. And what I like about this as well is you can go in here and start making you know changes to a few things. Now, right now it looks like this because I did not import all my presets. So I would need to go in now manually and start fixing things, but I don't mind this because I have the basic layout already. And uh, of course my text here, this is why it looks the way it does, but everything else seems to be, you know, okay. So I can just go in here, for example, on the button, and then I'll go to design. Now, if you're using the framework, you would come over here and then just say empty for margin top, L for large, and that's my size right there. But if not, then you would come over here, go to spacing, and then margin top, you could say two rem, like that. And there we go. Now you have all your values all added. So as you can see, this is 
a much, much cleaner, much, much better way of uh, designing your websites. So I would say, go ahead, start designing your websites uh, using DV5. If they're just basic websites you're building from scratch. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Are you using DV5 already or you're still contemplating, contemplating that is it the right time or not? Well, let me know in the comments box below. If you haven't purchased uh, Sidecrafter yet, link to that is in the description below. 40% off. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.